Okay, thanks. That's a great song. Um, okay, now we're going to just uh, just quiet our hearts a little bit, and I'm going to ask Linda to come and pray with us. Thanks, Linda. Let's pray. Father God, we do just want to thank you that the words of the song we've just sung has set us up so amazingly well for a period of intercessory prayer. And Father, remind us daily, remind us minute by minute that we are your hope on earth, that the church is your hope on earth, that the church is not buildings but people, and that we are your hope on earth. And that we are living through turbulent times in our world, times when people need hope. And we're reminded, Father, that you love each and every person. We're reminded that no matter where they are or if they believe in you, you love them and you love them unconditionally and you want the very best for them. However, Father, when we look at our world, we see so many events manifesting man's inhumanity to man. We see violence in the name of religion. For example, the Boko Haram killing and kidnapping aid workers in Nigeria. Children starving in Yemen. We see the disease, the pestilence, COVID-19 resurging in many, many countries in parts of Spain and parts of England. Father, we pray that people will have the care for others to enable them to do what is necessary to stop the resurgence of this disease, to stop the resurgence of this virus, and to do what is necessary to protect themselves and to protect others. And we pray for the folks in countries like the United States, who are seeing vast increases because people are not living in a way to protect others, because people are living in a very self-centered, very economy-first way. And we do just pray also for countries like India, where the resurgence and the massive growth isn't just growing a virus and an illness, it's growing stigma, it's growing starvation, it's growing lack of opportunity to fulfill lives. And so, Father, we pray against people losing their livelihoods, living in fear and being stigmatised. And this is something we can do something about as individuals. We can live our lives in such a way that brings hope to others. We can speak out against injustice we can shop in a way that supports others. We can live our lives in a way that protects others and protects our environment. Help us not to live in a way that is bringing more chaos to our world with increasing dumping of plastic and just pray against the horrendous pictures of people just leaving rubbish at their feet. And Father, we look to our world, which is, seems to have an increasing number of nas natural disasters, or are they a result of man's abuse of your creation? We pray for the folks who are experiencing horrendous fires in Greece and Brazil. We pray for folks experiencing flooding in Nepal. All these countries can do without extra uh, difficulties and challenges and we do just pray that you would raise up people and that we'd support organisations and Father that brings to mind the politics of all of this, the recent decision of the UK government to decrease international aid at a time when we should actually be increasing it, at a time when people need it even more. And we think of biblical reminders of attacks like locusts, locusts attacking in Nepal, where they're seeing COVID increasing, they're seeing flooding, and they're now seeing locusts taking their harvest. And also in countries like Kenya. And Father, we do just ask, as in days of old, that you would just replace what the locust or what COVID-19 or what man's inhumanity to man has taken 
that you would replace people's hope, that you would replace people's livelihoods and protection. And Father, we do just want to give you praise for the hope we have in you. We want to give you praise for the safety and security that we have in meeting, for the choices we can make that does bring safety for ourselves and safety for others. And we do just ask, Father, that we would be very aware of your presence with us, that this is a holiday, this is a holy day, and this is your special day. And we want to thank you that you never leave us or forsake us. And we want to thank you that absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing, not natural disaster, not COVID-19, will separate us from your love because you are with us constantly and permanently and you are the same yesterday today and forever. So we thank you, Father, for your amazing love and your amazing ability to be with us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Linda, for that. Um, okay, um, Scoles is going to come and speak to us shortly. Um, just before Scoles does that, we're going to share another song. It's one that Scoles suggested. It's a song by the Bethel Worship Organization. It's called Goodness of God. It's a lovely song. Hope you enjoy listening to this. <laughs> 